we then got a Brody Lee skit. What would you call it? A sort of scene? Yeah. Sk- I mean, skit's good. Yeah. I call it a promo. But it's not quite a promo, is it? But he was in a boardroom in his sort of like suit again. His very Mr. McMahon suit that people were pointing out that we missed last week. It's a, it's the, the pants don't match the jacket, which apparently is a very, it's very much a Vince McMahon trait. And there was, oh, actually, I forgot to say about that. Apparently, um, Dave Meltzer did say that there has been stories of, you know, Vince going into restaurants and saying that people can't eat before he's finished. Um, apparently, it's a quite a famous story. So um, that's definitely a play on that then. And there was more of that this week, was him making sure you know, there is a difference between Brody Lee and the Mr. Brody Lee character in the same way there's a difference between Vince McMahon and the Mr. McMahon character. Um, and then there was another minion that yawned and Brody chewed him out as well. He smashed a glass against the wall in such frustration. I'm actually really enjoying this Brody Lee character. Yeah, I agree. And then that was followed up by the natural nightmares of QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes uh, in their Dynamite debut, taking on the Dark Order minion team of, I'm pretty sure it was Silver and... That it, they didn't say it was... No, it wasn't Silver and Reynolds. They said they were eight and nine. They were just right. unnamed minions. Yeah, and they lost. Uh, they wrestled pretty well, though. Um, they're just sort of generic minion outfits. And... Brody came out afterwards, sort of stared down Dustin. And I thought, oh, yes, please. I want that later. Yeah. And Brody walks past them, though, and gets in the ring and hits this huge powerbomb on one of the minions, stares the other one down and walks off. Really good stuff. I yeah. really like the Brody Lee character. However, I can't help but feel like this is at the expense of the Dark Order that we've actually come to like since september and evil uno and Stu grayson where have they i know yeah they do feel like the forgotten parts of this now because they've not been part of the video packages you know since Brody lee debuted like they haven't stood side by side together in two weeks now yeah and i like i yeah i like Brody lee oh i think he's really good great performer i love the idea of this sort of cultish vince mcmahon parody figure uh, in in a serious way, not a comedic way, but it's not the Dark Order, is it? No, and which so, which is why we which is why we said like early doors, we weren't sure if Brody Lee was going to be the right fit to be leader of this group, and it's just you know it's another almost feels like another false start for this this act, you know yeah. the, the the third attempt to get this group going, and Brody Lee has just completely overshadowed them, mm. you know, and and maybe that's for the best. He is he does feel like the star of the group. Yeah, yeah, but I, I thought, you know, Stu Grayson's fantastic. Mm-hmm.